Welcome back to the basement. My name is Tyler Adsit, and here today we're going to do an experiment. I have a customer who is going to be doing a scavenger hunt for a whole bunch of kids for an FFA event, and the idea is that we want to have a six-piece puzzle, but we want to have something engraved on that puzzle. He wants a little memento people to take home, so he wants it a little bit more than just six pieces of wood put together. Typically, if you were just doing one of these, I could see where you would just engrave what you wanted it to say and then take it to a scroll saw or your jigsaw even, or maybe even your band saw and use a really fine blade and cut out the puzzle. But we're going to be doing about 60 of these things, so we want them to be to where each piece is exactly the same, so no matter which group gets to the bucket of puzzle pieces first, all of the puzzle pieces for each individual location will be exactly the same. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and pulled in a template for a puzzle and I'm going to then overlay the text that I want it to say and then I'm going to explode the puzzle and keeping each individual piece of text in the piece of puzzle and then we're going to blow it apart like I said and we're going to try cutting it and we're just going to see what happens. So give me a minute, let me design this up really quick. There's plenty of videos out there on how to work um, how to work Vetric Pro, and I'm definitely not the best at this. So go watch some other videos if you're interested in how the designing is, or maybe if you let us know, we'll uh, do another video on how to design things. So we'll be back in a couple minutes once I get this designed. All right, so attempt number one definitely did not go as planned. The V carve portion, which is the letters, I think that went um, went pretty well, but then it started to the wheels kind of fell off the tracks there when I, I didn't have the tool chain set up right, so it started V carving out the puzzle, and so then once it actually started, when I changed the bit, then we had a little issue with the the parent stock was a little bit too small, and so. As each piece was cutting out, it was actually moving and then slinging the piece a little bit. So I'm not so sure it's a bad file just yet that made these puzzle pieces so not tight because I was really hoping that I'd have about a sixteenth of an inch of play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bigger piece of parent stock and I'm going to run the same code again but I'm going to slow it down a good bit whenever it's cutting the puzzle pieces out. And I am going to... So yeah, we're just going to, going to try that. I forgot what else I was going to try and do. So let's, let's uh, meet back once I get the new parent stock hooked up. All right, so if you'll see here, the one here is the initial shot and then this one here is the second shot at it this first one as i mentioned we had a lot of issues with the tool change and it getting off track a little bit and maybe going a little bit too fast so with this one i went ahead and separated the two files from to ensure i got the tool change without it without missing it so there still is a little bit of a gap in some of this puzzle and I think that what that's caused by is the backlash in my machine because the file is the exact same I didn't have to create two different pieces of the puzzle this piece this line that was drawn on this piece is the exact same line that was drawn on this piece so there is a touch of backlash in the machine and you don't really notice that until you start trying to fit pieces of the puzzle back together if this had been just pretty straightforward uh, plateaus and valleys as opposed to these round pieces where you're really using both stepper motors at the same time, we probably wouldn't have had so much of this gap that you see here. But at any rate, this job is a, it's a really narrow profit margin job the customer is trying to do as cheap as possible and they are okay with a little bit of this gap here this is something that's probably going to be used for one scavenger hunt and then thrown away 
or put on a shelf somewhere. So I'm gonna play a little bit more with this file, but I'm pretty sure that this is just as good as it's gonna be with the amount of backlash in the machine. All right, y'all, by this time, y'all ought to know me better than that. There's no way that I was gonna be able to be happy with the way those puzzle pieces fit together. So I had to call in the big guns, got my dad down here. We did a lot of research online, kind of talked to the community of CNCers. And what we found out our problem was is these radiuses here were less than the radius of the bit, which is an eighth inch end mill. So the problem was is when it was making that curve there, it wasn't able to actually get all the way up in the curve of these pieces. It was doing fine on the part that I'm going to call the male here. But this female part, it was, it wasn't getting far enough up in there. Or sorry, it was going too far in there. Nope. It wasn't getting far enough in there. So it wasn't allowing this male part to actually slip over. Even though the file was correct, the, when we actually zoomed into the cut path, it wasn't. So what my dad did is he came in and he, drew an eighth inch circle on all of these uh, crotches here and made them match an eighth inch circle. So now we've got a file that I cut. I've already cut this file. I did 85 of these puzzles last weekend. So I'll try to put in a, a picture of them at the end of the video here, but the file worked great. The puzzles are uh, a nice fit. I wouldn't call them a machinist fit, but really you, you won't, wouldn't want them to be a machinist fit anyway because you wouldn't be able to get them together very easily, but they're very close. So one thing to note here that I did do is I went ahead and you see where this overlap is here. I went ahead and cut the whole letter even though it wasn't going to be part of the puzzle piece. That way I was sure that I got the whole part of that letter instead of just some of it on the puzzle piece. So yeah, if I were to do this again, I probably I probably would make it to where this text went just on one piece here and would move this over to where it's just on one piece instead of overlapping into two pieces just to kind of clean things up. But yeah, for that, I think we did good. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Like, comment, and subscribe.